Hello! In today's video, we are going to be talking about color coding and traders. We will first discuss about color coding. As we briefly mentioned in our sources video, resources can have different colors. You can select that color in the resources property of a node, or the filter property for a connection. Resources of a certain color can only be sent through a connection that has the same filtered color, or a connection with no filter. Color-coded resources can also be counted separately and managed separately. This is a great way to simulate different currencies. Note that black can also be a filtered resource. Connections have no filters by default and black is the default resource color for nodes. Next, we will be covering traders, which are the only node in machinations that cannot function without color coding. As the name implies, they are the best node to implement trade mechanics with, taking the input amount of resources and transferring them if both input nodes have enough resources. Traders need exactly two inputs and two outputs to work and both of them need to be filtered. Traders also perform their action during a step, similar to converters and gates. To sum up, traders are the machinations node that take the most advantage out of color coding, and the best node to implement trade types mechanics. In our next video, we will be talking about delays and queues.